Hello friends how are you all hope you are doing great at various aspects of your lives welcome to another book review podcast by team think reviews today we are going to talk about in the wonderland of numbers maths and your child by legendary shakuntala devi if we talk about perceptions a majority of people will agree that they consider maths as a comparatively difficult subject it is however one of the most used subject in our real life be it currency calculation or something else we cannot live without using maths in our day to day life for sure late shakuntala devi known for her mathematical abilities was considered a human computer she was not only a great mathematician but a nice human being too She has tried a lot to remove the fear of maths from the students' minds. From what we know about her, we can surely say that she believed that if associated with fun, learning maths is not a tedious or tough task. It is quite opposite. So, that's why we use the phrase playing with numbers is said earlier. Perceptions play a vital role in most of the tasks. We see that elders always telling young ones to focus on some subjects as they are tough and require hard work and more efforts to learn. And that includes maths. So we thought that we should talk about this particular book in the wonderland of numbers, Maths and Your Child by Shakuntala Devi. published by Orient Paperbacks on 1st June 2006 this book is 136 pages long let us start with the cover page of the book as the book is targeted for children and their parents and the title has words like wonderland the cover page of this book is expected to be eye catcher as you can see in the podcast cover The designer has done a fantastic job here. The beige color background looks really good and multicolored letters in the book title adds to the positive impact. The slogan of the book, a fascinating journey into the magical and exciting world of maths, adds to the positives of the book. And the way you see dancing kids along with the numbers flying with them. is really an impactful cover page i really like the cover page let me know what do you think of this cover page in this kids oriented book that is equally good for elders too especially parents of young kids should go for it shakuntala devi tries to explore a child's mind through a character of a girl named neha So let us talk about the book content and what we think of it and see whether it can live up to its tagline a fascinating journey into the magical and exciting world of maths. Neha is like any other regular town child who any school girl can relate to quite easily. For example, listen to this line. However early she began It was always a difficult task to get to the school bus stop on time. Seems familiar, right? It is almost same for everyone to run for the school in the morning. The bus or car or auto driver is arrived to pick you up and you are just finishing up getting ready. It is like you just need 2 or 5 more minutes. Neha is a genuine girl due to her upbringing. One example of her kindness is she used to be a friend with the elephant of village temple the priest of the village temple used to love her as a kid too and she also cares for the people who care for her like when she meet the milkman who delivers at her place she not only ask about his wellness but also about his family and her too quoting from the book Are your cows all doing well today? How is Tilotama mommy? Some nice lines which are full of good lessons to learn for the life. In a really small amount of text are there in the book like 
some days got over as well as they had started and the feelings of any child who hate maths are reflected as where she begin to hate numbers and feel that they hated her a mother child conversation written in simple words is so real quoting from the book appa i am doing so horribly at maths amma is always angry and i feel as if numbers hate me and i hate them and the wise advice from neha's father can't have better words than this only a wise and genuine human being can give such a fantastic advice don't worry about amma said her father she loves you very much and wants you to do well as for numbers they hate nobody and nobody can afford to hate them why everywhere you look there is a fun with numbers and during a clash of opinions in the school about students performance and how should they be treated based on results we found a gem of thoughts is what kind of truths are they that destroys a child confidence and deny her talent This conversation is quite superlative. It tries to set up the idea of what is right. It should be done in the education system. There are some meaningful lines in the book which are primarily not targeted for children. Quoting from the book, you are right without knowing it. Quite a philosophical stuff like the lines I am going to utter now may look superlative again. Maths is the foundation. music is the structure and dance the superstructure the best piece of advice we got from this book is don't let anyone put out the spark which makes you shine so bright you are not only talented you are prepared to work hard too you deserve the best so overall it is a nice book in terms of literary aspects the human attributes are explored pretty well The bond between the temple elephant and Neha is explored nicely. The theory of karma is explored pretty effectively and we feel it when the elephant saves Neha. The conversation between Numbers and Neha when she is taking bed rest will remind you of tales like Alice in Wonderland. By the way, the book is themed on it. You can know it by reading the book title itself. and some information about the numbers and their attributes are of very high level to understand especially for the students to whom the book is targeted you may start feeling a little boring during the conversations where each number comes one by one to introduce themselves and show their attributes to neha the author has tried really hard here but probably that is what makes it heavy dose of medicine for the target readers however it is not easy to write a book on numbers and maths which is giving just fun in summary and there are some low points in the book in the wonderland of numbers by shakuntala devi don't think it can miraculously establish a bond between students and maths but it is a genuine try the human emotions the importance of being gentle and helpful the theory of karma etc are explored quite nicely in the book the second half have some dull moments but overall the book is a good package and you should go for it it is a simple no nonsense book that is worth reading so have you already read the book Are you planning to read it? What do you think about this book review? Do you find it helpful in deciding whether to go for the book or not? Please do share your genuine remarks via comments below. If you have enjoyed listening to the review, please hit the like button and do not forget to share it with your friends and other fellows whom you think such reviews interest more. Till we meet with our next podcast. Bye bye. Take care. Namaskar.